Welcome Scorpio, we'll be looking at what it is that you need guidance with at the minute using Shadow Healing, the Cosmic Reading Cards and Osho Zen Tarot. Alrighty, Scorpio, let's get stuck in shall we? Three cards for Scorpio please. Put that one back and take the first three that came out, just like that we are into it. Okay, first up here is Astonished. It's your choice whether to be overwhelmed and bewildered in this situation or to experience it with wonder as an opportunity for a different future. Sorry about it. About the noise. The motorbikes, they like to roam around around here. Okay, so. Oh, let me tell you these other ones as well. Perplexed. Still unsure of what happened? Shake your head, roll your eyes, and respect that others choose to travel different journeys than yours. Remember that each journey is important. That's so true. It is Scorpio. Each journey isn't important, but the most important journey is yours. So that's really the one that you need to focus on. Confused. The chaos accompany accompanying the confusion seems misguided. However, the others are too embroiled in the situation to see clearly. You will need to make it simpler. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Confused, perplexed, astonished. Right. Two cards for astonished, please. Let's go more into astonished here and see what's going on. It's your choice whether to be overwhelmed and bewildered in this situation or to experience it with wonder and as an opportunity for a different future. Yeah, we have a choice, right? We have a choice as to how we receive um, situations, how we deal with them, uh, what energy we we'll want to put into them. It's all a choice. One more card for Astonished for Scorpio, please. Thank you. Okay, interesting. Scorpio, we have new chapter here. So this is this is the choice, say, of a new chapter, right? A new chapter of I feel like this is seeing it as a new chapter of in a positive light. Okay. Um, you can choose, like it says, to be overwhelmed and bewildered, or experience it with wonder as an opportunity for a different future. So I suppose that's the difference of sitting in that energy and kind of dwelling in it or moving forward um, with excitement and going, okay, well, let's see where this takes us right now. Okay, so two cards for new chapter, please. One more card. Okay, we've got three cards. That's fine. Let's have a look. Oh, 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 I love it. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so I feel like here, this is important. This is definitely an ending of something here. Okay, and um, and it's up to you. Like it says, it is your choice how you want to deal with that. Okay, you can suppress your emotions and let them bog you down. Or you can release them. And, you know, by releasing them, Scorpio, that may actually create something which is incredible. You can turn it into a, a piece of music or a masterpiece of some sort. Whatever your creative talent is, use what it is that you've been through to create something beautiful, right? Out of the madness, out of the, the, um, the chaos, you can create something absolutely spectacular, okay? Because you are the creator. You're the creator of your own life, and it is up to you how you want to play that out, okay? So write your own music. Don't um, go along with anyone else's piece of music or what people believe you should be um, playing in your life, so to speak, right? 
play your own piece of music, write your own music, and that can sound however you want it to sound. And it's also like your story, Scorpio. What do you want your story to sound like? Really listen to the story that you are telling and, um, and take note of what it is that you're creating because through telling your story, you create your life. And so this is important for you to hear the words that you speak, okay, to see what um, future you're creating for yourself. And the future that you're creating for yourself is apparent in the story that you speak in the now. Shadow self. So this is, I feel like, not hiding all the stuff in the shadows, not suppressing it, allowing it to come out, to be released. Okay, even if you feel like this is not something you want anyone to see, even if you don't want to see it, okay, it still needs to come to the light, okay, because how else are you going to write this beautiful piece of music, which is your life? Two cards for Shadow Self for Scorpio, please. One more card for Shadow Self for Scorpio, please. There it is. Love it. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. Harmony and flowering. This is really about planting the garden of your life in harmony. Planting the seeds of what you want to create for yourself with harmony. Okay. Um. The thing is, this is here, Scorpio, is how do you want to nurture those seeds um, how do you want them to grow? You know, it's like with anything, where, like you have a pot plant. You may have seen the experiments done. You know, you can speak to a pot plant and tell it the story of how terrible it is and how how ugly it is and that you don't like it and no one loves it type thing and it doesn't grow to its full potential. Or you can do it the other way and tell it how, how significant it is and, um, you know, and give it all the praise in the world so it can flourish, okay? And it's the same with for yourself. Your life is your garden at your disposal to plant whatever it is you like. And it's also for yourself here, Scorpio. How are you nour nourishing yourself with what you feed to yourself and, and not just with food and everything that you consume. What are you consuming mentally? What are you consuming verbally? What are you consuming visually? You know, all of these things are creating your life for you. So really assess what that looks like, okay? We now have perplexed. Okay, so. Two cards for perplexed. Still unsure of what happened? Shake your head, roll your eyes, and respect that others choose to travel different journeys than yours. Remember that each journey is important. Time out. Take some time out here. Take some time out to shed some colour on the situation. Um, sometimes we need that time to reflect. And if there's something that has left you in a bit of a spin, you kind of need time to regain your balance again and get yourself regrouped and centered and grounded. Okay, so this may very well be what is necessary for you right now. Okay, um, definitely grounding for sure. Two cards for time out for Scorpio, please. Okay, there we go. Just like that letting go and letting change happen you know and this is the thing right this is where the whirlwind this is what this reminds me of but first of all let me talk about this this is a release here okay if you need to cry it out Scorpio cry it out okay the tears that you release are um are going to empty you of this these things that are potentially suppressed that are bogging you down that are stopping you from bringing this music out which is within you stopping you from writing this melody of your life okay so in that regard it's really important for you to people writing their own music out there with a motorbike you know some people that's how they do it um, 
it's really important for you to do that because it creates a ripple effect yeah it creates a ripple effect that goes beyond what you can see it's a ripple effect of vibration okay and um and what's going to happen is it's going to ripple out and it's also going to come back to you and in a sense when you let things go and you walk away from that which does not serve you which is not boosting you which is not nurturing you okay whatever form that may be in whether it be in what it is that you're consuming in all of those um you know those situations that i gave you before um or whether it be in relationships whether it be in your work whether it be um on a spiritual level really assess it's really time to assess i feel here okay because if there is something that, ha that has left you perplexed and left you whoop, um spitting everywhere astonished and confused then maybe something wasn't in an alignment in your life so yeah this is very important for you to be addressing right now change again this whirlwind right happening all around you but the thing is that taking this time out here Scorpio it allows you to stay centered and focused okay because in the middle here is the yin yang symbol now the yin yang symbol symbol is representative of our divine um, masculine and divine feminine okay these are things that are um, unshaken within us these are things that remain I guess I, I want to say constant they are changing though the energies of them are changing but they are um they are always balanced okay and and in a sense this is the essence of who you are which is also this creator okay and this see how peaceful here this creator is while well, all this is happening around him okay the yin yang symbol is this creator now the yin yang symbol also represents the light self which is represented i feel here and the shadow self right you can't have a symbol of yin and yang without the light and the shadow self okay there's always dark there's always light and there's a balance of this and where there is light there is dark within it and where there is dark there is light within it so it's important to bring whatever is out, out to bring whatever you need to bring out into the light so that you can address it to bring this balance in and calm the chaos that is around you and it may even feel like that chaos is internal and maybe it is but ultimately what is not shaken is the creator the essence of who you are that can never be shaken okay and when you tap into this you will begin to find more direction in your life because you will start to come from a place of empowerment okay be fearless yeah see look at this light shining here from the lighthouse right be your own light to guide your own way because you have it within you to actually do that be fearless okay and this is about your journey right the journey that you are traveling never mind what everyone else is traveling this is about your journey here okay so we have yeah this is yes treat it like an adventure right um and just like this astonished card here said you know experience it with wonder and as an opportunity for a different future treat it like an adventure and trust trust your path trust your inner guidance system trust your light to lead the way trust yourself trust yourself to have your own back some of you some of you need to do some inner child work okay um and that could be the shadow self that hasn't been addressed here some of you may be walking through the world as though that well not as though you may be walking through the world 
in the shoes of the inner child and it may feel so freaking scary for you. It's like everything is daunting because you're coming from the place of a, of a unhealed inner child who needs nurturing, who needs love, who needs you, the adult, to step into your big person's shoes and take control. So it's time for you to do that and start caring for this inner child like it needs and deserves, okay? So let's move on to Confused here. All right, so two cards for Confused. For Scorpio, please. The chaos accompanying the confusion seems misguided. However, the others are too embroiled in the situation to see clearly. You will need to make it simpler. And this is the thing with this lighthouse coming up and you being the beacon of light to guide the way. Oh, check it out, Scorpio. That, that was just like balanced on there, like so talented, so talented. What can I say? Look, here, golden crown, right? This is this light shining the way. And as you tap into that um, inner knowing, okay, as you allow the light to lead the way, which is within you, right? You wear this golden crown. You are able to tap into this um, higher power, if you like, or the source, right? The creator um, to lead the way, okay? Um, and as you walk along that path, you will walk it in harmony because there is no other way when you are in that space, okay? You will no longer be confused and you will be able to um, lead by example for people, I suppose, um, so that they can see that it can be done with poise and grace. Okay, so one more card for confused, please. One more card for confused. Actually, you know. I want to go into Golden Crown first. Golden Crown, tell me more about this. Here, see? Here we go. Yeah, that's it. Um, creativity. Using your creativity, right, to make this connection, there needs to be a connection made with this, um, with the light within. Okay, I really feel like this is part of you having faith in yourself, Scorpio, because a lot of you don't. There's this overthinking that goes on, and it's holding you back. Okay, this is about you maybe even releasing some things in your with your creative talent. Okay, and um, this is going to help you to um, make this connection that you feel is missing in your life. And, and what I mean by that, it's almost as though you almost get there with something and you almost get there and you almost get there and it doesn't quite hit the mark. And, you, and, and it's sort of like you can feel it as though there's just something that's not there or something missing or or something that you're not clicking onto and it may be. Um, but what I want to say is sometimes we can give up just a little bit too soon. Sometimes, like these acrobats here, right, not quite joining hands, all it takes is one more swing on this side and one more swing back here and the connection is made. I do want to say that it's important, um, especially if you're working as part of a team, it's important to bring, um, what do I want to say here? I'm trying to find the right word because every time I get to a word, I'm told no, no, no. I feel like to bring the same... vision to reach for the same vision as everyone else okay um because when everyone isn't on the same page there is um there's an imbalance okay so it's important to get creative um with what that looks like okay it's important to maybe try something new to see if that balance can be obtained. Okay, so one more card for Confused, please. One more card for Confused for Scorpio, please. 
Scorpio. <laughs> Don't want to come out. Just finding the right card. There it is. Sacred journey. Yeah, see, this is your sacred journey. This is all you really need to be concerned about here, right? Um, and I feel like it's actually, there may have been a time where there's been sort of this running around in circles, and I feel like it's time to try something differently, to try something new, in the sense of whatever hasn't been working in the past, there needs to be a different approach for it to work. Okay, so, um, and the other thing I want to say about this Scorpio is that it's not about you going on a journey with anyone else. Even though this could be a team situation, it is still your own sacred journey. Now, this is really interesting because I'm seeing three people here and then I'm actually seeing three colours in this journey here. So, This, this could be a team effort, but each person's steps along that journey is sacred to their own. And I feel like it's really important to understand that. And when each step is made, the step that each person takes creates another sacred journey of its own. This is very intriguing. Two cards for Sacred Journey. Tell me more about this, please. And then from that is created something magical, some kind of like, like the, the melody which is created. It's something that's never heard before. Wow. Okay, one more card for Sacred Journey. Mm, yeah, see, there will be success, okay? In order to reach that success, you must go within and allow this internal guidance system to lead the way. Listen to this inner voice, okay? Go into this space of um, quietening the mind, okay? And allowing the inner voice to rise up and speak because this is where you will create the connection that is going to make this sacred journey Sorry, Scorpio, I just got completely taken away there at like mid-sentence. <sighs> because this here, what is this? This is something that is going to last forever. Okay, we've got two six here, and this is going to last for infinity. Okay, and I feel like all these here are representing different things that this unique journey that through these three connecting right this unique journey is going to leave a legacy behind that no one else can match like something is really being birthed here and it's quite incredible and sometimes it may feel like there's turmoil surrounding it. But it's kind of like even after a storm, right? After a storm, the air is cleared. And there is a freshness in the air, right? And I feel like this is what this is. So out of this, something new will be growing that has not been grown before. So while there's this chaos, 
I feel like it's important for you to go within, okay? Be the light to guide the way. To guide your own way, because this is your journey. But by doing that, you're going to assist this unique sacred journey and you're going to be able to be part of that creation. Okay? Yeah. Excellent. Wow, Scorpio. This is actually quite huge. Um, yeah. Wow. Anyway, I hope that made sense for you because I actually really don't have any idea what's going on here. So please share because it would be quite intriguing to know. Anyway, I will leave that with you, Scorpio. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.